Check, check. Check a check of one, two. All right. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, depending on uh, where you are or what time you're watching this video. You know, we always try to cover all of our bases. All right. So I got a quick update, man, um, on the uh, the amplifier. Again, a lot of, a lot of positive feedback, a lot of good uh, information, so on and so forth. But I wanted to give an update because I, um, I was working on this behind the scenes, but I finally got the production done and everything else. So this is what we got going on. This is one of the little things that I kind of had as, as, as an idea that I incorporated in the amplifier. Um, so basically what we got going on is this, right? Hold on, I'm trying to add. All right, so you see these little filters right here? Right now the amplifier comes, you know, with a black filter. You can see it in the background, right? So one of the things that I did when I was designing this, I wanted to go ahead and um, kind of figure out a way to, you know, make the amplifier a little more interesting i guess if you want to use that word i noticed a lot of people that have their amps whether it's power soft or whatever they take off the front cover and they paint it um so what i did is i incorporated a feature where uh right here where the black filter is you could actually use like some tweezers or something and kind of pull out the black filter and um if you want to go out depending on your neighborhood or wherever you're going you don't necessarily want to be black that night you could use blue uh, you could take the blue filter and kind of slide it up in here. I'm gonna try to see. I'm gonna see if I can do this with one hand. It ain't. It ain't exactly the easiest thing to do with one hand, but hold on. Let me pull this out a little bit more. But um, I guess y'all get the idea. I get the 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 gist of what I'm trying to do. Yeah. So real quick, real easy. You just um slide it in here. So now instead of having black a black face, you see what I'm saying? You get the idea. Now your amplifier has a blue face. So once you start hitting the market and getting more and more penetration and getting, you know, getting used by more and more people, you may not want to have the black filter in there. You may want to be blue one day or or red or yellow, whatever it is. You see what I'm saying? Hey, don't hit me up and tell me to make all kind of crazy colors because um, getting these colors are pretty hard to begin with. So I ain't going to be doing no purple and, and you know, you know, some other crazy colors y'all might want. I mean, not that I wouldn't like to, but... Man, this was a pain in the butt getting this done. That's why it took so long, and they had to kind of follow everything else that I did. So anyway, just uh, wanted to kind of drop in and give you all a little heads up on that. So we got the we got the filter. We got the colored filters now. You see what I'm saying? So if you want to rock, you want to rock yellow. You want to rock blue. You know, you want to you want to rock that red. Let me take this out. See, if you got a pair of tweezers or whatever, it's real easy, man. But you can use like a pin or something, just something with a little edge to kind of grab it on the bottom. And kind of pull it out it doesn't hurt the filter or nothing like that you see what i'm saying so then you know you could slide that red in there and uh by the way it's not just this side it's both sides you could do it too but i'm only doing one for the purposes of the video all right not this damn thing oh okay you got to kind of play with it a little bit there you go like i said i'm trying to do this with one hand so it ain't that easy but um if you got two hands available it's pretty easy but i'm just trying to get this in here nice and Nice and schmood. All right. Almost there. All right. All right. It's in there. So you said I'm saying now you got red. So just a little idea that I had, man. I wanted to kind of be different. I don't want to be like everybody else. I don't want to be, you know, copying nobody or trying to do something that's very similar to anybody else. So that's why I got this solid piece of aluminum. You said I'm saying real solid. And it's, um, you know, it's cut out nicely where it allows the amplifier to breathe but it also has uh the brand on there you see what i'm saying and then you got um now you have this ability to accessorize uh your amplifier so if you got a rack of these just just imagine right you got about four or five of these in a rack you could have red hair yellow hair blue hair you know you could have red over here yellow over there i mean it's just a, a million different options and ways you could kind of make this thing personal you see what i'm saying so that's the whole idea behind that. That's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So I wanted to basically uh, bring that to everybody's attention, uh, kind of get that out there because I forgot to mention it. No, I didn't. I ain't forget, man. I just didn't have the damn filters yet. So I'm, I'm not going to sit here and try to be uh, fake about it. <laughs> you know I'm saying I was still working on trying to get these filters made, man. It was a pain, like I said. So I didn't forget. I actually just didn't have the filters yet. So now I have the filters in. So anybody that um you know gets the amp, uh, it's going to come with the filter. So it's going to be in a bag like this. You're going to have the manual. You know I'm not going to try to put this in here while I'm holding one you know one hand with a camera. But the manual is going to slip into the bag. 
you'll have the um, three sets of filters. You know, you got the yellow, the blue, and the red. And then it also comes with these custom screws. So you notice the screws are silver, right? So it wouldn't look all that great if you got, um, I got some of the screws over here. So I'm just going to take one out and show you what I'm talking about. So you got a silver face amp, you know what I mean, solid aluminum or whatever, and then you're going to have like black screws going in there. It's going to look kind of tacky. So um, the screws come with, I mean, uh, the amplifier comes with these screws, and these are the actual washers that go behind the screws. I kind of make them translucent so that way they, they're not black either, so everything looks nice and neat. The reason why you got to have these custom screws is if you look at the thickness of the metal, a standard size screw is not going to fit that. You see what I'm saying? So you got to have this screw right here, which is a lot longer, and it fits perfectly. So if you got it in the rack, just the back of the rack, or the rack air, and then, you know, you just kind of slide it through, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Boom. And you got just enough length to basically make it fit. You see what I'm saying? So then now you don't have to worry about fiddling around trying to find screws that's going to work uh, for the amp or finding silver screws or whatever because the black ones look so tacky. So now you realize that, okay, well, when, when Wasi sell you the thing, he's going to give you everything with it. You don't have to go looking for nothing. You see what I'm saying? And you got the washers right here. So they're translucent. So they don't have no color or no black or whatever to kind of throw off your, your look. All right, and as you can see, I got a, a box full of screws, man. I got a thousand of them things, so every amplifier is going to have those. All right, so that was uh, covering the filter. Then you got the manual. All right, just giving you a quick look at what the manual looks like. So this is the owner's manual. You know, you got a W15K and W15K4. Uh, professional touring audio power amplifier. I know that's a mouthful, but that's kind of how I wanted to, I guess, put it together. Just crack it open. Not looking for any pages in particular, but just opening it up. So you see, you got the output power uh, two channel W15K, four channel W15K4. You got all the information right there. Nice and handy. You got the operating parameters, all the good stuff that you need to kind of know what the amp is capable of. Uh, just just a little a word to the wise, man. If you if you have some speakers and they're not that that powerful, like you got a 1500 watt speaker. Uh, you got to be careful with this amp, man, because it'll, it'll, it'll definitely beat that, that speaker to death. You know what I mean? So I'm just putting that out there from the get-go, because I got a lot of people that, um, well, not a lot, a couple people that got the amp, they put it on their little 1,000-watt speaker or the 1,000-watt speaker, and it just tears that speaker to shreds. It's too much power, and then they try to max it out. You see what I'm saying? So you got to realize, I'm going to do a video later on down the road that kind of explains um, power output and give you a little bit of clarity on how you can match up your speaker boxes to the amplifier that you're using. So, you know, you don't get a um, 7,000 watt amp and, you know, per channel and then put it on a 1,000 watt speaker and then wondering why the speaker died. You know what I mean? You got to kind of have, have a little common sense with it and kind of be able to figure that out. But I'm going to do a video, man, that makes everything real easy to understand and figure out. All right. So once again, this is... Um, this is a W15K. I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys the filters are in now. I got them. Uh, for the people that already bought the amp, I'm just going to ship it to them. That's not a big deal. But, um, you know, just give you a little a little option, you know what I'm saying? Give you an opportunity to kind of do things your way, make it personalized or whatever. So, you know, I thought it would be a nice, a nice idea to add that. So I did, and I finally got them in. Uh, I can show you. I got a, as my American friends would say, I got a gang of them. You know what I'm saying? I got thousands of them things. You know what I'm saying? This is just like one box, but I got thousands of them. So um, even if you lose them, man, I'm not a real hard person to deal with. If you lose them or whatever, I'll just send you some more. But um, just keep that in mind. And then for all the people that might be wondering, when I say the amps are handmade and I'm doing all this work, you know, I stay here at like sometime 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, as you can see, it's a box of screws, a box of washers. You got capacitors. You know, these are the actual heat shrink, custom heat shrink tubing that goes on the amp. You know, see? Right here. So it ain't no it ain't no plating, man. It's actually me doing it. You know what I mean? So just keep that in mind. Some people are kind of wondering and guessing, but nah, it's me doing it. These are the bags that your screws and stuff go in. So when you get your screws and your washer, it comes in this little baggie right here. You see what I'm saying? So let me just give you, here's, here's a bag right here that's already got them in there. So you got four screws, four washers. You don't have to go buy nothing. You literally take the amp out the box, 
and you can mod it in the rack. You don't have to worry about, boy, I'm gonna have the more rock screws, box side, enough for weight. You know what I'm saying? You can take them out the box, put them in a the rack, go ahead and use them. Everything come with it. You see what I'm saying? I'm not gonna short you on nothing. So you have, um, you know, I guess you got the visual right now. You see, I'm actually doing this, man. I'm not, I'm not, some things that I order, I order in uh, pretty much completed is like some of the boards that I've designed and stuff like that. I ordered those in, but things, the rest of the stuff I got to put together myself. So you got some fans right here, uh, some control boards, uh, some more capacitors. The reason why all this stuff is out here is because I'm going to be taking it to the warehouse. So I'm trying to set up a little, uh, you know, I'm about to load up the van in a minute, but, um, I'm trying to set up like a little assembly line thing, man, because this thing is real tedious building these amps. It's not that easy. And then I got to test them. I run them for about seven hours straight just to make sure everything is good. But I um, just want to give everybody a heads up, you know, give you another look into my boring tech world, uh, you know, showing you what I got going on, what the latest and the greatest is. So right now, this is the latest and the greatest. You want blue? You can't make the amplifier fierce blue. You can make it red. That's red. I don't know if you, that color is coming through real good on this phone, but you have blue, you have red, and then you got yellow. You see what I'm saying? So however you feeling for that particular um, that particular night, that particular evening, or that particular party or whatever, you could switch it up. You know, so like I said, I ain't seen nobody doing that. I've no, I've seen no app manufacturers doing that. Everyone always uses gray. So anybody that knows me, I like to try to try to do things a little bit different. And besides that, I think the reason why this thing is going to do well, aside from with God's help, I'm actually a DJ as well. I do the sound and lighting thing as well. So it's not somebody who's just an engineer or a company that manufactures amps and they're just going to build something to sell. Nah, I actually do this, man. I'm actually out there with the people that plays the sound systems and the cast that DJ and whatever. So I got like a different connection to this. So I kind of see the holes in the game and I tried to sew it up with this amp right here. So, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys get your hands on them. Yeah, you know I'm saying uh, when this quarantine thing is quarantine thing is over, man. I just want to go out there and do some more things. Uh, working on a couple other things too. Got the website. We're working on that right now, so you don't have to, you know, people that don't want to talk to me. If you don't want to talk to me, you ain't got to talk to me. You just hit hit a button and it, and it comes right to you. you know what I'm saying <laughs> you just click on the website and uh, do your order. So we're working on that as I speak. Um, we're trying to get that up and running. It's just a matter of getting the cart stuff situated and all of that. So. Uh, working behind the scenes, man. We're doing this for y'all because it ain't for me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, don't look at it as, oh, it might be me and putting the amplifier. Nah, man, that ain't my name. That's a brand name, man. That's a nickname that I had for years, but I got friends from Trinidad. Everybody call themselves, why the boy, why see you see my you know what I mean? So that's a regular thing. That ain't even, ain't even nothing like that. It's just a nickname that I got, but don't look at it like that. Look at it as a brand. It's just a brand name. You see what I'm saying? And for any of those people that may have any ideas, I do have attorneys and all this stuff is <laughs> trademarked. So I ain't stupid. You know what I mean, so, yeah, so everything is good to go. I uh, just wanted to give you all a heads up and, you know, hope you all having a good day, man. Whatever you all doing, remember to spend time with the family and all that, because that's more important than anything else. I mean, they got a whole lot of stuff going on right now with the economy and all of that. But you know, we can't focus on that, man. You just got to keep pushing. All right. So once again. We got the filters in. Everything is good to go. Working on the website. Just wanted to give you all an update. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Monday and stay blessed. Over and out.